Hey guys, Scheming Off The Grid here. As 2019 comes to a close, we wanted to highlight some of the funniest moments we've had this year. We had a ton of laughs, yeah. cheap thrills, stupid humor, you name it, it's happened here on the channel. In today's episode, we are gonna highlight some of our favorites. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking Bourbon County Cafe de Ola by Goose Island. It's a variant of their 2019 Bourbon County. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's get ready to laugh at some of the dumbest things we've said <laughs> in 2019. I'm Chronic Spartan, and one of my favourite things to do is grabbing a good beer, kicking off my shoes, relaxing my socks, and watching one of my favourite YouTube channels, Gaming Off The Grid. Cheers. All right, here we go. The end of the year is a very important time for us because it gives us a chance to reflect on, you know, the things we've done because a lot of times our schedule's so hectic, we don't really get to enjoy the moment. Time flies because we're putting out so much content, we're getting so much stuff done, and sometimes I forget about the yeah. funny moments and the funny times because <laughs> we laugh a lot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so we were digging through the archives, watched a ton of footage, and we came up with some of the funniest moments from the year that like, as we were watching it, we were just laughing and we're like, you know what? We upload so much that we can't, we can't even keep up with it. No, Let yeah. you guys yeah. keeping up with it so we're like you know what let's let's talk about these relive these moments laugh a little bit and we're also continuing bourbon county week which yes. is a lot of fun day so. three of bourbon county week also if you celebrate merry late christmas yes and hopefully you guys are drinking some great libations and let's laugh today so let's jump in so this year we went to three cons and cons are a great time they're yep. a great time to meet people fellowship and they're also a great time to laugh. So the first con we went to was MGC. This con was funny. Yeah, the Midwest Gaming Classic was a great time. We had a we have a full recap of it, so we're not going to go super detailed in it. But there's a couple things that really stand out to me. One of the things that stands out to me, and we've never talked to him about this, I don't think, anyways. It never made an episode because I felt like such an asshole. But you guys got to keep in mind, we didn't know anybody in the community when we went to this con, except for I think Captain Algebra. Telesplash Gaming and maybe Do You Nerd were the only other YouTubers we had really talked with. Yeah, so, and that was barely talked yeah. to. So we got invited to this YouTube dinner from Captain Algebra and we we're so excited, but nervous too, because we're like, man, yeah, I'm gonna meet all these content creators. <laughs> and we're babies. Yeah. So anyway, there's a gentleman there by the name of Megadan29. Who's now one of our close friends. Yeah, yeah, talk to him all the time, great guy. And I had barely heard of his channel at the time, and we end up playing this NBA Jam game, and we do some promo work and film some stuff, and I'm just shooting from the hip, and I called him Megadan69. It's funny, because in the footage, he's kind of like, oh, like, I think he thinks I'm joking. You think, yeah, <laughs> from his face, it looks like he thinks you're joking, but I know you're not. So he's, and then you try to correct yourself, but you don't know what his real name is. And so I'm like, oh, Mega Dan 99. I'm being serious. Like, it's so funny to watch it now. I really didn't fucking know. And look, and watching it, knowing that backstory is so funny. <laughs> it is. It is. And he's like, yeah, overall 99. Maybe. I think he thought I was just busting his balls. I really didn't know your name, Mega Dan. I, and I apologize. All right, let's get ready to go down. Mega Dan 99. My new our, partner. 99, he just said. Mega, no. All right, it's ready to get down. Overall 99. <laughs> yeah, Mega right. Man 69. 69. Yes, Mega Man 69 with our buddy Rhino the Flying Albino against Got G. Mo Game Con. We did a $5 challenge. Uh, that video is on the channel as well. But the taco, man, that was a that was funny. <laughs> I know I'm a funny person. I get it. You don't have to freaking flop me up. I already know. But dude, I thought it'd be so funny to pick up a taco for five bucks <laughs> and put it in a game case. And I did it. All right, guys, I'm back at the van. We're supposed to rendezvous really quick for this $5 pickup, and I'm about to win. I'm gonna let you guys know what I got. I'm gonna hijack this pickup. I picked up Castle of Illusion on Sega Genesis for $1. It's an empty case, and you're like, oh, that's not a good pickup. But then, for $3.75, I picked up a beef taco. I'm gonna put the beef taco in the case, act like I got it full price for five bucks, open it, and there's gonna be a taco. I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? There's a taco in there? And then I'm gonna eat the taco. Some people didn't think it was funny. Yeah. Looking back, they do probably now, but like in the moment, people were like, I see you picked up. I knew Captain was like, are you serious? A taco? What the hell is this? Is that a taco? <laughs> I got you. Got I got it. Wait, wait, wait. I feel good. <laughs> All right. What did I tell you? Robert bought a taco. Not a game, 
a taco. And then uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. We had a great time there as well. And hanging out with Telesplash Gaming and his friend, Jesse. Oh, dude, speaking of Jesse, Jesse is a freaking riot. We talked about him a ton in our uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo little recap. Yeah. Dude, he was doing a Ric Flair impersonation, loose impersonation the entire weekend. And it's one of the funniest, because it's so bad. And like his, his walk. <laughs> we just gotta, we just gotta roll the damn footage. Kiss dealing, woo! Wheeling dealing, jet boat driving, airplane driving, and I'm having a hard time keeping these alligators down. Woo! Dude, but it's so funny because we still reference and talk about that today <laughs> to Chris, and it's like, oh, dude, yeah. Jesse's going all Ric Flair on us. <laughs> yeah, so fun. And we we had uh, joined hotel rooms, you know, and uh, you know, I remember Chris walking in with his first drink of the night and flipping his glasses off, his actual dude, glasses yeah, that he real, needs, his real prescription glasses that he pays money for, and he threw them off his head into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! There was no prompt. He just literally walked in and did it. It was so funny. There's so many, and then there's stuff that happened. We don't even have the cameras rolling for like our our hotel door got kicked in at like you know eight in the morning, and Chris came in wearing a full Spider-Man suit, and he came and like jumped and ran across the beds and, and like just yeah, took off, and then just left, and we were like. <laughs> Dude, he's like, hey, you're going to the warden. I'm still waking it's up. Like, so down, bro. Conventions are so fun, and they're such a great way to laugh with people that you have talked with on the internet. That's why I love conventions. And that's why I'm looking forward to conventions in 2020 with you guys. Let's go back to our barbershop series. Yeah. That's a fun series that we started this year. The first game we played was Toy Story 2 on the PS1. Yeah, the parts from that first episode, it was just like that moment. Like, we hadn't really shot episodes together before, but I remember... Hogan saying nomenclature, oh, that, that hit me. When he pulled no nomenclature out, I was like, dude, what? I've never heard that word before. And I was like, what do you say? It is so funny. I had heard it before, but it being heard in, in practice, I haven't heard it very often. I think you're just, you're not, you're... Am I jumping too soon? You're, you're late. too I, early. Because you're not quite getting to it. So I gotta jump late. Jump at the peak of the board? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, like the last possible second. Yeah. Well, that's what I was doing initially, and you said I was jumping past it. Well, I think he maybe didn't use his word. Yeah, the, my nomenclature was off. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> your nomenclature? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. Vocab. <laughs> I figured this was a good place to use that. The other thing that stands out to me is the conversations about what happened to Andy's dad. Oh, dude, we went on basically the entire episode talking about, yeah. dude, where's Andy's dad? Dude, he's playing seeds nationwide. Yeah, like, yeah, setting up franchises. Setting up franchises. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. That she used to bury Andy's dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he murdered him. He's, he's definitely out in the, out in the sandbox. <laughs> I'd like to go a step further and say that Andy and Sid may be closely related. That's what I was just oh, thinking. Yeah. I was thinking the same yeah. thing. That's and, so. and Sid knows, and that's why he resents. That, and that's why he's so, so much. Yeah. Up. yeah. Andy's dad was planting seeds all over town. Yeah, just setting up franchises. <laughs> <laughs> franchises. <laughs> oh, man. And then we did a Cheetos episode. That was kind of a modern episode, and that episode was so funny. First off, Hogan ate like two full bags of Cheetos yeah. for that episode, which is so funny. <laughs> He was telling us behind the scenes, dude, he felt so gross after that. <laughs> yeah. He literally, I think it like made him like literally feel ill, like yeah. violently ill. He ate so many Cheetos, but it was all for the love of making the episode. And making a film. <clears throat> and then when we were playing it, that game was so, it's so bad. If you haven't seen it, I think it's one of our best barbershop and Let's Play episodes that we've probably done. But he's so into it at this moment, and he thinks he beats this boss. Oh, yeah, because he, 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 he hits the boss three times. But, yeah. of course, this boss takes four hits because the game's so messed up. Yeah, and he gets up, and he flips his chair, and you and just have to see he's it. he's so excited. In your face! <laughs> you just shit! <laughs> I thought you hit him, man down. <laughs> I thought you hit him. Oh, I did it? 
No, yeah, you hit him and it was a game over. What the fuck? Great times were had at the barber shop. Tons of them. Um, too many to recap, but some very, very funny moments. And 2020, we're going to keep it rolling. Oh, we and, are. Uh, we got some great games. Yeah. Or <clears throat> some terrible games playing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, the next part that kind of stands out to me is kind of the wrestling moves, if you will. Yes. That have happened on the channel. We were gifted in 2019 a free beer sign from a local brewery. Yes, and instead of hanging it up representing the brewery, we were like, hey, we like wrestling. Let's hit each other in the head with it. Bad jokes. Oh, hey, dude, I got a bad joke I forgot oh, to you? tell you. First off, the first time that happened, was when we were learning kind of the multi-camera angle shot. Now we're just, we have it down, but to get it right, how many times do you think you hit me in the head with Dude, that Dude, probably 15 <laughs> times to get that shot right. And I just whacked you. And he's like, dude, and the thing is, I thought it was good. And he said, no, that wasn't a good take. I didn't react. And he's the one getting and hit. The sign doesn't hurt, but guys, it's one of those like tin or aluminum signs that it's not the pain, it's the loud, my ear for like two days was like, because I was whacking him right in the ear. And it just got that loud sound. So this ear just, they're not going to bring back the Sega channel. Bring back the Sega channel. Bring back the Sega channel. I was not prepared. Sega channel. Sega channel. Back the Sega channel. One more. They're not going to bring back the Sega channel. Tons of fun. And then there was a live stream where uh, you got tombstoned, legitimately tombstoned in this small ass Dude, game room. I think we said like, hey, if Gabbo from Pixel Game Squad joins the live stream, I'll get tombstoned. Yep. And people were like, well, Gabbo's at a concert. There's no way he'll join. And we're like, exactly. If he joins and someone messaged him and was like, hey, if you join the live stream real quick, Robert's going to get and Gabbo joined the live stream. <laughs> Robert's like, oh, I'm like, oh, hey, hey, Gabbo. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. Here we go. Oh shit. Alright. Here we go. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Tombstone. We have games. We have games falling off the shelves. We have games falling off the shelves. I <laughs> think Robert is dead. I was really worried that like something was gonna come unplugged or that yeah, we were gonna knock something off. Not much no. room. I'm surprised the <laughs> shelf didn't fall over it. Speaking of wrestling, we celebrated this year's Royal Rumble with a Royal Rumble of our own on WWF No Mercy, yes. which we're planning on doing something similar this year. The game might change up, but same, con same concept. And dude, this was so funny because we got four of us. We got Ryan and Newland, who's been on the channel before. And first off, we shot individual promos yeah. for the Royal Rumble. That was fun. Which was so fun. that They turned out actually really great. Royal Rumble, 30 of the best wrestlers around. WWF No Mercy on N64. Whoever can navigate the N64 controller will win. But joke's on you. <laughs> I have an advantage. I have three hands. The cherry on top. Um, remind uh, the viewers who uh, won the Royal Rumble. Oh. Not necessarily the person, but what wrestler won? <laughs> Funaki won the Royal Rumble. Russ is playing as him. Dude, there were four people left in the Royal Rumble, and actually there were five, and then you died, and yeah. your pick, your final pick was Funaki. And he was like, dude, I'm going to win this Funaki. And then he did. Yep. Can you imagine Funaki winning the Royal Rumble and moving it on to, for the for the belt? Indeed. Oh, oh shit! That's your, that's your <laughs> I have to I have to try winning this with Funaki. That's your final wrestler. Indeed. There it is. Oh, and there's three left. Oh, there are three. Oh, Valvinus, Funaki, and the Godfather. No! Oh. No! 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 Funaki. Come on! Oh! <laughs> the Royal Rumble of 2019 is won by Funaki. So yeah, Ryan was a part of that Let's Play. He's kind of been a big part of the channel in 2019. Went to Midwest Gaming Classic with us. Yes. There's a moment that happened when we did our Super C Let's oh Play. Oh my God. That is so funny. And it's just, it captures what it's like playing games with us as friends. Like you literally don't know what's gonna come out of the person sitting next to you's mouth. 
He's saying words that aren't words. It is so fun. Yeah, so we're just gonna roll this last segment. This is the end of Super C, and it is just, it's funny. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, jump over his first wave. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. god. This is not smooth. Oh, heck dude, it's... I don't care. I don't know what just happened. I'm getting lucky. <laughs> and then you just freaking walk off the edge. Yeah, but I pressed the jump button. That's oh. the only part. Oh, I'm getting you lucky. pressed the <laughs> jump button. Okay, I know what that means. <laughs> it's okay. You have the flare. We, I got the spare. Okay, now this area freaking <laughs> sucks. It's all right. This He's is, got the flare and I got the spare. Just, just freaking <laughs> run. Yeah, we're good. This is the last part just of the run, game, guys. Just run, run, run until we can't run no more. Oh. <laughs> no more. Eehawk. What? Oh, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Come on, it's alright, it's alright. Jump. 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 There's gonna be bubbles. Why? It's alright, that's right, that's right. Hold you up, it's gonna hold you up. It's gotta. Oh! Ah! It's alright, it's alright. Oh, be reserved, be reserved, be reserved. I forgot, okay, we just gotta go. We just go. Just go. Go, go, go. go. Just go. go, just go. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Oh, go, just baby. Go, go. Oh, right. no! Go. Oh, oh, man, no, we have so many lives. lives. Go! Do not, <laughs> this is the end! Go! This is the end. Bum bum bum. My sweetest friend. The, the end. end. Go! I hey. say that every time I take a shit in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you saying this is the oh end? Oh my gosh! Dude, come on, oh don't die! Oh my gosh! Here we go, here we go! Now, see how many predators we can turn purple. No, 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 don't shoot him! Oh, don't no, shoot him! No, shoot okay, him! Let him, let him come! You don't have, oh, you don't have lives to there's risk. You don't have lives to risk. <laughs> I turned purple. <laughs> yeah. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. It'll kill you when he comes yeah. out of the grant. <laughs> comes out of the grant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, is this a he or a she? Oh, see. You <laughs> did it on purpose. You I just wanted to show you what could have happened. Shoot up! Shoot up! Oh no! Oh. Go away. She's caught on to us! She's caught on to us! It's too late! It's too late! <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm suspended! I'm suspended! Dude, you're in purgatrum! Dude, I will never get sick of the- Oh, he's gonna turn purple! And he goes- <laughs> <laughs> I turned purple! That's just a funny part. That that part of that, it, it it's it just, literally what I- envisioned when we started this channel like that's what we do well and that's what we're trying to capture is like that's why we love co-op gaming yeah. because you can't really experience that <laughs> online yeah, there's no, no and it's not gonna be as funny and speaking of things that i love i love winning and it, there's one thing that i'm not good at with winning and that's sportsmanship we did a hooping off the grid <laughs> he's already laughing <laughs> So we do an annual thing called Hooping Off the Grid where it's us versus two other people in NBA Jam. We were ahead by a good 20 points and I kept sinking threes and going, Woo! Here's to you. You bring the tie-dye t-shirt. He goes, let's poop on that, because I'm a bird. First off, I'm not very good at video games, so like when I'm get when I get good, I'm like excited. <laughs> And I get really excited because we're crushing them and they were not feeling it. Yeah, and the funny part for me, like, I'm really good friends with you, Brian and Ryan. I've played a lot of video games with you and a lot of video games with Ryan. Ryan's very competitive. Ryan also knows a lot about sports. You know nothing about sports. Like, you kept saying that you were Larry Bird, and I literally, I maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think you knew who Larry Bird was before we played I mean, that game. I definitely know of him. <laughs> I know the name. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, birdie, birdie, birdie. Hello, ah, little birdie. Come here, little birdie. <laughs> so, not only does Robert not know shit about sports, that means he doesn't know anything about sportsmanship. And I can feel their anger as well. I watched it. Oh, episode. They're, they're silent. And then you go, ooh, somebody's getting quiet. <laughs> Sometimes I just like poke at the bear. I was trying not to laugh at you because it was so funny, but I'm like, dude, he's just being a dick to these guys. And so I'm like trying to like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. And the thing is, is I know it was all in good fun because dude, you don't even know what sportsmanship is. Dude, I used to be a nose guard. Okay, okay. Maybe I was the understudy of a nose guard, but I know what sportsmanship is. Folks. My point is made. Right 
We already talked about our nightcaps a little bit. Um, it's something that I love when when uh, we get a just live stream. It takes away like the editing, the production. And you just get a, you don't have to loose. think as much. Let right? yeah. have fun, you know. Yeah, there's been some really funny moments in live streams that really stand out to me. Most recently, we, we were working our way through Turtles Battle Nexus Two, and we started talking about asking if you would be a good farmer. Oh God! And I don't even know how that came up. Yeah, that's I why I love the live streams. Like we talk about random stuff; it just happens. And I think I'd be a great farmer. I, I just think you guys just got to hear the conversation, so let, we're going to let it rip. Tell us in the chat right now, do you think Robert would be a good farmer? I would be. Hey. I wake up or I wake up at 4 a.m. every day for work. I wake up early because you got to wake up before the sun comes out so you can milk the cows because they're antsy. I did, I know. <laughs> That's why you have to milk them Because early. they're antsy, dude. And the sun, the sun gives them anxiety. So you got to milk them. You either, can, <laughs> you either can stay up late and milk them at midnight, or you can wake up early and I have yeah, at night, their udders are more tough. They're well, like yeah, leather. They're like, leather. They soften up over well, yeah, they do. Because in the morning, you know, because of the morning dew, if they get a little wet, so they're a lot easier to, to milk, you know? I'm going to be honest, that's pretty stupid, but I think it's funny, and I kind of want to go get a pair of Levi's right now. But, speaking of saying stupid things, should we tell them what you said about, in Luigi's Mansion about horses? Oh man! Well, too late. We are now. Have you ever seen a horse piss? It's awesome. No, I've never Dude, seen it. It's awesome. I've never Dude, seen it. Dude, it is so awesome. Dude, it's something everybody. Where has have to you see. seen a oh, horse? Oh, dude, tons pee. of times. Tons of times. My grandpa has a farm, and dude, I've ridden on horses. Dude, so first off, when they get a boner and they like slap, oh yeah, I slap know against that. Themselves, that's, They're like pig. Why would oh, you do when they that's piss? Private. Time. Dude, it's better shower pressure than anything you've ever it's just, seen. Psh. Oh, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jesus. One of my favorite things I've ever seen in my life is a horse piss. It's unbelievable. Like, <laughs> you guys you just say that? One of the if favorite things he's dude, ever dude, seen. Dude, if they're standing like in a field or a mud, they'll create like a crater. It, it, and they just pee straight down? Oh, like dude, while they're, it, sta where they're dude, standing? It's, it just goes. They don't aim it? Dude, they, don't, they can't. They don't have posable thumbs. But they do <laughs> Just, oh, uh, dude, yeah, it sucks. Just, horses don't have posable thumbs. They just let it go, man. And the pressure, like literally, I was riding on one one time, and he, he just, he, dude, he just stopped, started yeah, pissing. Start dude, I got off of him. I'm like, you sick son of a bitch, you was splattering up on my fucking legs and shit. Did it smell good? No, dude, it smells like he ate asparagus the night before. It's horrible. I shouldn't have said it on a live stream. <laughs> There's a lot of things we say that we probably shouldn't say on live streams. I still think it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to stand behind it. I'm going to stand behind it and take it head on. That's what happened. If I seen a horse pee right now, I would laugh. I would laugh. And I, I probably would. I kind of want to see it. One of my favorite things is you say that's the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life is a horse pee. Like, <laughs> that might be taken a little far, but it is you, funny. You said it multiple times. You said, Jesus. One of my favorite things I've ever seen in my life is a horse piss. Speaking of funny. Mario series. So we were going through the Mario games. We were up. We're we haven't played Mario sixty four yet, but we beat one, two, and three. Um, doing let's plays. We beat one on a live stream too. And uh, I believe it was Super Mario World. One of my favorite quotes that you've ever said. Um, that first or that Ghost World where you have to get the 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 P block, the pow block, yeah. and you got to take it through the door. Yeah. And it's so confusing. And the first time I ever played that game, I was like, dude, yeah, this the loop that you have to do it in is the confusing. It's part. frustrating, and I couldn't figure it out. And once I figured it out, I was like, dude, this is stupid. Mm -hmm. Well, I almost went up top on... <laughs> and then you would have, and then you would have been yeah. in the loop again. Yeah, it but it's that easy. You just take the P to the D and climb the V, and then you're out. <laughs> you take the P to, through the D. Through the D, and then climb the V. Yeah, that makes a lot the of sense. The pal through the door, through the vine. Get yeah. your mind out of the G. <laughs> now that is funny. And it's going to come off maybe as a little more funny than this next part, unless you were sitting in the room with this guy. When we beat Mario 2, this is the first time he's ever this, beat this game. This isn't funny. I did not want to bring this up. Dude, his general disdain at the end of the game where he goes, it's a dream. Like this game, like we played this whole game and it's a dream. Here's the frustrating part is we beat the game and then you move on to the beer review and I should have moved on with you. But then I realized the game wasn't over. It was a dream. Mario was in his bed. He's dreaming about freaking sending the freaking whatever his name is. Ah, oh, man. It's not funny. They freaking slaughtered him. Yeah, is that tonight's dinner? It is. They're going to have me served up on a tray. He's going to come out with an apple in his mouth or a tomato because I was feeding him tomatoes. Oh, my Lord. 
Wow, Mario 2? And now it's time to talk about the beer. It was a dream. Are you fucking kidding me? Man, lots of great times. Uh, that series, we're probably even missing some that happened in those Let's Plays. I think there's a blooper in one of them <laughs> where you're like jumping on the, the Goombas. Oh, that's like in World 8, yeah, right? Yeah, Mario yeah. 3. yeah, yeah. And I can't remember exactly what I said, but I'm like, yep, you kill him and you kill his friend and then you kill. <laughs> yeah, so it's in the, they have the ship level. I yeah, think, dude, and that ship level is so oh. hard. We'll just, we'll just let it play. Yeah. Boom. I hate him. And I kill him twice too. And then I jump over his friend because he's facing that way and kill his, kill his friend, and then I kill the friend that's going to appear right here. Who is actually the first guy's friend. Yeah. Which is weird. It's so weird. It's a like, twisted dude, love story. Yeah, it, freaking, there's so much... You ever heard of Menage a Trois? Menage a... <laughs> I've heard of the Taj Mahal. Is that close? <laughs> dude, it was a freaking funny year. What a great year. I just remember every day we get together, we usually laugh yeah. at something, and it's always something that, dude, why is that funny? Yeah. Why is that? That's so stupid. You no, know, it, it's great, and I'm so glad that, like, you know, with the, the workload we put on ourselves, we haven't lost that, yeah. you know? Because um, it'd be easy just to go into grind mode and just kind of forget, you know, to, to have fun, which is why we do this. So this isn't necessarily a recap of the year. That's coming. But this is just some of the moments that made us laugh that we figured, you know what? If anybody missed these, maybe they'll laugh too. So uh, speaking of... Uh, laughing <laughs> doesn't really work as a tie-in but uh how about this beer wow okay so it's bourbon county week here at gaming off the grid this is the third bourbon county we've had this week and wow i like this variant a lot it has like a coffee taste yep you, it has like a orange taste i taste a little bit of like cinnamon in there there's just lots of good flavors and i think it adds to like if you drink the original bourbon county it's like ooh. This is like a sweeter, this is a more flavorful. It, it is. It's really good. It doesn't uh, come off as much as a barrel-aged beer. And that's not to say that the original is too strong or yeah. anything of, of that nature, but this is just a more mild, I would say, a touch more smooth, and it's a sweeter, richer beer. Well, I, I wouldn't want more than like an eight ounce pour. Oh this. yeah, it's it's still really rich, but it's less percent than the original Bourbon County. Oh, okay. Original Bourbon County is like 14-ish percent, this one's like 13 percent, oh, okay. so it's still kind of high. Yeah, and this is the first year, so we've been drinking Bourbon County for a couple years now, but this is the first year we've been fortunate enough to snag some of the variants. Yeah. So um, it was nice. I think there was one or two others that we weren't able to get but we were able to get the original and two variants this year so it was a, a pretty big uh, thing for us because we've never got to try them before it's it's really sweet and i'm i'm really glad we tried this and i am excited to try next year's variants. yeah absolutely hopefully we can get our hands on them if you see bourbon county stout in your area it's a limited release annually and it's probably not going to be on the store shelves for long so if you're into imperial stouts or barrel aged beers at all i think this would be one that everyone should try yeah. it is very good it showcases the style very very well and it's definitely on that top shelf of barrel aged beers that we've probably ever had i'm not saying it's the best but it's up there in the discussion and it's definitely one of the beers that i look forward to every holiday season i'm like okay bourbon county here we go here we go and yes it did not disappoint this year especially this variant this is so good. Yeah, and what's cool, and we've talked about it a little bit before, but every year is just a little bit different. It's a new yeah. fresh batch. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for laughing with us, putting up with our stupidity throughout 2019. And uh, we're looking forward to more times like that going into 2020. In the comment section below, let us know, is there anything that we said that, that you thought was really funny in a live stream or an episode that we maybe uh, missed? Because we just kind of were going from memory and, and went uh, through... We do drink a lot of beer, so we might have forgotten. <laughs> yeah. Things. And with that being said, I, what do we have? Probably 150 uploads in this yeah, year. Yeah, we had a lot. Over 100. We put out a lot of content. It's, yeah. I forget episodes we did like two months ago. Like, yeah. It's it's insane. So there, there was a lot. So coming through the old uh, interwebs at you guys. But if there's anything that stands out, we would love to go back and relive it. Just because uh, sometimes we don't have time to stop and <laughs> smell the roses. Uh, we always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for all the love and support. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know we love having a good time oh, yeah. here on Gaming Off The Grid. There are grin. Gaming Off The yeah. Grid? It makes us grin again and again. Joker juice. <clears throat> Sipping on Joker juice. Okay. <clears throat> Stupid humor, cheap thrills, we're not above <laughs> any of it. And 2019 was full of ton, of ton, of ton. <laughs> There's full of a tundra, dude. Yeah, it was just full of ton. Full of ton. Ooh, okay. You know we love laughing yes. and having a good time. Stupid jokes, toilet humor, and... 
and buttholes. <laughs> we be ballin'. Give me a dream, give me a dream. No, call me no dream. Sugar? Brown sugar? You'll make me taste so good, my heart. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. I'd be fun to go do karaoke like that. Can you imagine you walk, walking up there? Or just stand up like fridge and just go. <laughs> come my lady! Come come my lady! You're my butterfly! Sugar! Baby! And then don't even move. <laughs> and then once you get there, you just, just like, walk up. Like dance like 